Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another apartment renovation, I guess I could, well, it's, it, that's what I would call this video. <laughs> Because we're going to be furnishing the second apartment in our base game townhouses that I built last week. So if you guys missed it, last week I actually posted a video of the exterior of this townhouse. Yeah, of yeah, it's basically a townhouse because there's two townhouses next to each other. But in any case, I posted an exterior video. And then I also did the first apartment, which was a basement apartment, which I will leave both of those linked below. They're also in my base game, um, like base game playlist, the renovating base game playlist that I have, because I did build these for my base game save file. So yeah, they're both in that playlist, but in any case, we're going to be furnishing the second one today, and this is one of the first floor apartments. So if you guys didn't watch the exterior video, basically this apartment, I guess I, I want to say apartment building, but it's not technically an apartment building. It's just two townhouses that have been split up into apartments. So basically this build is obviously split into the two separate townhouses, and then each townhouse has three separate apartments in it. So... Both of them have a basement apartment, then they have a first floor apartment, which is the one that we're working on currently, and then they both also have a second and third floor kind of like family apartment, so the second and third floor in each townhouse is like one apartment, each one has like a big family, town family apartment in it, so yeah, that is going to be the video that's going to come up probably on I'm, I'm thinking Thursday and I do apologize if you just heard my voice I haven't spoken yet today I am recording this right after waking up and I haven't record I haven't like spoken I haven't you know eaten even <laughs> so yeah my my voice is a little bit weird because I'm not used to recording first thing after waking up but in any case so yeah, we're working on the second, not, yeah, the second apartment, but the first floor apartment. And you will see that I am going ahead and like copying over stuff from the apartment next door. Because the apartment next door is one that I'm going to be leaving unfurnished for you guys. So if you want to play in this build and you don't want to play in any of the apartments that I have already furnished, you can live in one of the unfurnished ones and just, you know, decorate it however you need or want to. So basically, out of the six apartments, I am going to be furnishing three of them, and then three of them are going to be empty. So, you know, I have one basement apartment furnished, one is going to be empty. One first floor apartment furnished, one is going to be empty. One family apartment furnished, one is going to be empty. So you guys have a couple of different choices of where you want, you know, your sims to live, or where you want to play, or stuff like that. And I will be creating families for these apartments for my save, and I will be putting them on this lot. Now, I don't know yet if the new lot type that's coming with the Sims 4 for rent is going to be a base game thing, or whether it's going to be pack exclusive. I am leaning towards thinking that it will be pack exclusive, just because it makes sense. Why would they give us an entire rental pack? And then give us a rental lot type in the base game, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I will also, but because of that, is what I'm trying to say, because I do think it is going to be pack specific, I will be uploading this apartment or like this townhouse lot to the gallery as base game. So, as this is technically a regular residential lot. So, if you want multiple families to live here, you're gonna have to have all of them in one household. And that is the way that I'm going to be doing it for my save file. And it's probably not the most streamlined. It's not the best in like gameplay purposes either. But I'm just going to do that because I want the sims in my save. And I want them all on this lot. So I will be doing that. I don't plan on playing them myself. But if you do ever play with this lot or with these sims then... I would suggest either moving some of them out if you don't want to play with all of them or, you know, something like that. But in any case, what I'm trying to get at is that I am thinking about doing a renovation of this build with the new pack. So I would basically go in 
and I would, sorry, my phone alarm has just started going off and I didn't hear it fast enough. But yeah, so basically what I'm thinking is that I will be obviously uploading this to the gallery, completely base game. And then once I can, I will actually go in with the new pack and I'll kind of like renovate the build a little bit. Maybe add some things from the new pack from like build by if I think some of the stuff matches or like fits in well with the vibes that I was going for, I would go in and renovate some of the apartments, change up some things. And then I'll also obviously change the lot type to be like the new rental stuff, like the residential stuff, like the apartment basically. And make it a proper apartment building where each apartment is probably properly separated. You know, so that they all work as separate apartments and you can have a lot of different households in this space. So yeah, I'm thinking of doing that and then uploading that build or like that renovated version to the gallery as well. So if you ever download my save file, the like it will have the base game version in it. But then if you have the pack, then you can go in and just replace the build with the one from the gallery and it would work perfectly fine. I'll probably also upload the families that I end up creating for this. I'll also upload them separately just so that, you know, if you want to do that and you don't want to split up the household yourself into different households and like move them into the correct spaces, you could also have just the separated or like not single sims, but like separate the households basically to download and play with if that's something that you wanted to do. But yeah, so I have rambled about a lot of stuff. And I don't think I've talked about this build at all. So basically, like I said, we're furnishing one of the first floor apartments. It's another one bedroom, one bathroom apartment. I did think that it was bigger than the basement one. But, you know, looking at it again, I don't think it is. I don't think it's bigger than the base game apartment, which is weird to me. But I think that's because the base game apartments also have the front and the back walkout bits. So they kind of have like a little bit of extra space. Whereas this one obviously is just the apartment. There's no extra space, like like extra hallway space or extra, you know, outside space or anything like that. They do have access to the out to the backyard, like little shared backyard space. They do have access to that, but there's nothing that's like specifically for their apartment, if that makes sense. But the, f the idea that I had in my head for the sim that would live here would be a kind of like, I was thinking either a florist or a gardener or something like that. So that is why I try to put in a lot of flowers, a lot of plants. I try to go for a little bit more of a boho vibe. Although in the base game, that is basically next to impossible. <laughs> So yeah, it, it, it's kind of impossible to do a boho vibe with just the base game because there's nothing in that style in the base game, like at all. There's no beds, there's no couches, there's not really any decorations even that matches that vibe. So I tried, I tried to go for that vibe, but it's more so just like, it's more just colorful and bright compared to the base game one, to the base, not base game, to the basement one. So yeah, that it, it's kind of, it's not really boho, but you know, it's, there was a solid effort made, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I did figure that this would be for like a gardener or someone that's just like really into gardening, maybe a florist. I think that's part of seasons though. But yeah, so maybe, yeah, just, just someone that's really into gardening basically. So they have some planter boxes in their apartment. There's some in the backyard as well. And yeah, that is basically it for this build, you guys. We're gonna go ahead, jump on into the game, and I'm gonna give you a little live tour at this build because I, yeah, I, I rambled through most of it, and I don't know why. But in any case, we're gonna go ahead, jump on into the game, and take a better look at this build. Okay, so here we are with the finished apartment complex, and you did see a little sneak peek there of the upstairs family apartment. But yeah, so I still need to do a couple of these, like, you know, communal spaces like the hallways. But other than that, all of the apartments are now done. But this is the downstairs basement. Not, why do I want to say basement? It's, there's a lot of bees in this like series, I guess. Basement, base game, boho. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first floor boho apartment or the attempt has been made at boho apartment. 
But yeah, so when you come in, you have a little hallway, you know, a place to hang up your coats, a little mirror, all of that stuff. We have a nice, quite a nice sized kitchen, if I do say so myself. I don't think I added a dishwasher. No, I did not. I don't, are dishwashers base game? Let me check. Yeah, there are base game dishwashers. Why didn't I add any of them? In any case, but yeah, why am I getting so distracted? <laughs> But yeah, so we have a nice sized kitchen over here that is basically a mirror of this one on the side because like I mentioned in the voiceover, I will be uploading this to the gallery with three of the apartments furnished and then three of them with like base items. So like the counters, the appliances and the plumbing and that is basically it so that you can go in and renovate those and decorate them to fit your sims. But yeah, so I try to keep the layouts for stuff like the kitchens and the bathrooms basically the same between the apartments that I'm furnishing and the empty ones, just because that realistically is what would happen. So yeah, we have a nice sized kitchen. I try to decorate it, make it look a little bit more like, you know, cutesy and colorful, all of that stuff as much as I could in any case. We also have a couple of planter boxes up here. Where I figured the sim that lives here would have a couple of plants, you know, maybe they grow some some flowers inside, stuff like that. I used some pink curtains just to add a little bit of color to the place. We also have a little living space. They don't have a dining table, they just have some bar seating. And then, yeah, they do have quite a nice little living room space. I made this fake little, like, sectional sofa. <laughs> and used some of these chairs to make, like, fake pillows and stuff like that. And then obviously we have the bathroom, which it's a bathroom. There's not a lot you can do with it. So yeah, there's a nice little bathroom with a shower tub combo. We have the bedroom as well, which again, try to make it as colorful and kind of like semi boho as possible. <laughs> not really possible with the base game, but I tried. So yeah, a lot more plants, some like plant pictures, all of that stuff. They have a little desk set up. I also made one of these like fake closets like I did in the basement apartment where I this is basically just a blind that I sized up and moved with the tool mod and then we have a little like fake wardrobe space. It's not functional at all but that is why I included a, a separate dresser so that you know they can change their clothes that's just for aesthetics because I when I did the layouts for these apartments I forgot that I wasn't going to have access to the get together like closets that came with that pack and I put in spaces for closets and you know didn't want to get rid of it so I made closets <laughs> but yeah so that is basically the apartment you guys I also obviously did the exterior which the the yard spaces I did in the exterior video that went out yes like not yesterday last week but for this one I did go in and add some plants because I didn't do that in that video so I did do that and you know there's just some grill there's a grill, there's some seating, there's a hot tub, you know, fairly bog standard. But like I mentioned in the, like I mentioned in the speed build, I will be going in and renovating this entire building. So currently, if I click on save, let me just do it like that. And let me just take a look and show you guys if the gallery will ever work with me because it's, it's laggy. So yeah, so if you look at it, so currently it is just base game. It says I've used stuff from the holiday celebration pack. That is because that pack, I do count it as base game because it's free and anyone can download it. And the only things that I used were a couple of candles. I used that little like board decoration and then I used some string lights. So if you don't have this pack, then you know, you won't be missing anything important. Same with the Grimm's Ghoulish Guitar. I can't remember how we got this or why we got this, but this was some sort of like extra thing that you got at one point and it's part of the base game. So it's literally just a guitar. It's the guitar, it's one of the guitars that I used in the basement apartment. So, you know, if you don't have that like item, it's that guitar. If you don't have that, then, you know, you'll be missing one item. But currently, yeah, like I said, it is base game. And I am going to be going in at some point when I have the pack, or like the new pack, the for rent pack, I will be going in and I'll be renovating all of the, like, I'll be renovating this apartment 
like entire apartment lot basically i'll be making i'll be splitting all of them up into their proper apartments i'll be going in probably adding some of those like communal mailboxes that we saw in the trailer and adding anything else that i find in the new pack that i think might fit i don't know maybe some of the furniture items could work or you know something like that i will be doing that off camera or not not off camera i'll probably make a video out of it i think but I will be doing that once I have my hands on the pack and then I'll upload a version to the gallery that's only base game and the new pack as well. So that if you download my base game save file or anything like that or just want the apartment building, then you will have the option to replace it with a actual functional version if you have the new pack. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. But that is basically it for this build, you guys. Let me just give you a quick little floor plan shot in case you wanted that but yeah it's a very small apartment like i mentioned in the speedball i thought it was going to be bigger than the base basement apartments but i think because they both have these like outside walkout bits they are, they are a little bit bigger but in any case here's a little floor plan view for you but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give the video a like if you're new to the channel and want to see some more sims content including some for rent content because i am part of the creator network so i will be getting early access to it then hit the little subscribe button turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever i upload a new video i also want to say a huge thank you to my channel members for your continued support of the channel it really does mean the world to me and I will actually be putting out a little community tab post with some more information about, you know, channel member stuff and some of the recent changes to the tiers and just some more information about what you can get out of it, if that makes sense. So yeah, definitely go ahead and check out the community tab for that. But like I said, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you're having a great week. The last build for this apartment series will be going up on probably Thursday. But I will already have the apartment building up on the gallery, I believe, by the time this goes out. So yeah, definitely go ahead, check out that. I will have the download link in the description as always. My gallery ID, all of that stuff is also listed in the description as usual. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, like I said, and hope you're having a great start to your week. And I'll talk to you all in my very next video. Bye, everyone.